Look at these guys having fun in Ladd Park. Their hockey practice got canceled this evening, obviously because of, well, the winter weather making its way, but didn't keep them from getting their practice in. Y'all, this is a real hockey puck that Mickey and Easton are playing with, and they're having a good old time. Then take a look at Sweet Macy, our little ice skater, ice skating down the street on Memorial Drive. The ice isn't incredibly thick, but it is thick enough that she's able to be out on her skates. This is the way to have fun and enjoy this winter weather, not in your vehicles. Please continue to stay weather aware. As Leela mentioned, that next wave is moving its way in. The highest accumulations as far as snowfall is concerned, still on track, looking to be to our north and western areas. It's going to transition into that wintry snow over the next little bit. Still up along I-65, we are going to see the transition going from the sleet, freezing rain into some snow. We still have a slight concern just east of I-65 that we potentially could be dealing with more in the way of freezing rain than first anticipated. That's thanks to the layers in the atmosphere. We're going to continue to keep a very close eye on that because as you know, you don't need a lot of ice to cause power outages and for dangerous situations to evolve. We head in tomorrow. All this is out of here, but it's still on our ground and with temperatures so incredibly low, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be rather slick as we go throughout tomorrow and even Wednesday. But Wednesday comes with a little footnote, and that's in the form of another winter weather maker potentially moving into our direction. Now, the timing of this would be Wednesday night going into Thursday. We are still several days out, and as you can tell by looking at these temperatures, they're right on that freeze point, so there's going to be a lot of variables that we've got to consider. But it's something that we'll keep a watch out for. As Leland mentioned, main concern right now is what's happening right this second on radar. We're continuing to see those snow showers moving their way in, and that's going to continue to push its way across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky over the next little bit. Still on track. We've already had that first layer down. Second layer, Leland, is happening right as we speak. Yeah, and we expect to get more school closings for 